Yo, this is Daniel Montero with GW Smoke Break. We're here in beautiful Southern Humboldt, Richardson Grove to be exact. We're at the Wooden Log House, the very first dispensary that you'll see when you cross the Humboldt County line right here in the Emerald Triangle. Last weekend, we were in Santa Monica. We visited the Rose Collective. And it's going to be my pleasure to share with you the experience that you would have if you were to visit the One Log House. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Skylar? What's up, Selena? It's good to see you. It's been a long time. Good, good. It's such a uh, good feeling to be back in Humboldt County. I uh, wanted to show the audience what it's like to be inside the One Log House dispensary. But I wanted to tell you happy birthday. I know it was your birthday a few weeks ago now. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I want to share with the audience too a little bit about you. Um, not only are you a butt tender, but Selena Huerta is a Humboldt local. I think she's an awesome representation of the free spirit uh, that lives here in Humboldt County. And if you could uh, just share with us a little bit about um, your background here. Well, I mean, I moved all up and down Humboldt, um, I don't know, all through the mountains. I've been a little nature kid. Uh, I don't really know. Uh-huh. And what's, <laughs> I was just dying to know, what's your experience been like working at the Winlock? Oh, awesome. Um, I've always grown up wanting to, like, help people. For a while, I thought I wanted to be, like, an herbalist. For a while, I, I still want to be an environmentalist, but... Um, this is kind of like a low-key pharmacist job in a way, you know? So people come to me with their problems and I'm like, here, check this out, like this might help you. And a lot of the times people come back and they have really positive feedback. So it's, it's really like heartwarming and like fulfilling almost, you know? And I'm sure you have some uh, clients that come asking for you? Uh, yeah, we have our locals and you know, they come in every Friday cause I see them and they know I'm working Friday and it's like, oh, hey you guys, it's like, um, family meeting almost <laughs> or like a re meet up every week mm -hmm. it's pretty nice and how long have you been working at one lock uh ooh. for about a year off and on i took a little break i moved up to idaho for the winter and then i came back and i've been here since mm -hmm. so like maybe april of last year April of last year. Awesome. What I want to say is the One Log House is actually a smaller dispensary when you compare it to the other sizes of other dispensaries. But even though it's small, like everything that you would ever need is right here. <laughs> yeah. And what I asked um, Selena is to please share share with the audience and share with me what the top sellers are here in each category. And for the sake of the show, we have them all um, here on, on the counter. And I'd like for you to please start off by sharing with the audience why you chose uh, each product. Well, for edibles, we have these uh, Kanas. Um, they're pretty just overall I wouldn't say average. They're really good. A lot of people just generally pick those for a normal dosage. They have a bunch of different flavors, so it's easy to choose a different flavor, not just one. Um, and a lot of people have a lower tolerance, so it's easy to cut the gummies in half if they needed to, you know. So that's like a good basic go-to. And then we also have our breeze spray. So it's a thousand milligrams. Um, and I believe per spray, spray it's like 10 so I mean you can just if you have a high tolerance you can just sit there and spray <laughs> for a little bit you know or um, I mean you know it's easy to dust yourself out with this as well I like to use the spray for like if I before I go on plane rides or big long car rides I can just pass out it's easy that way mm -hmm. and I mean this goes for $85 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how much is the condom um, about 20, $20. Yeah. nice not bad so we've covered the uh, edible uh, category and the spray, and next we have some concentrates. Yeah. So we have this Rainbow Flame from Wax, um, special edition. It's a gram. A lot of people have been liking it. Uh, <laughs> we also have this King's Garden Shatter. Uh, King's Garden is one of my favorite, I guess, companies or brand. Every strain that we get, every product that we get from them is usually really solid, on point, uh, really stony, you know, just good overall. Awesome. Awesome. And how, what's the price point on these? About 40. 40 mm -hmm. Sweet. 
And moving right along, you have some carts for us. Yes. So uh, I normally don't do carts. I like to try them out, but I normally won't just like, it's not my go-to, you know? Uh, I usually like flour more so. But I'm really loving these Aero Pros. Mm -hmm. They have like a special fan that like um, helps burn all of your oil through and evenly instead of like it leaking or getting clogged up or burning it too fast. And it also has a mechanism to where like if you blow back in to the pen, the fan will automatically kickstart so you could just take a consistent hit. So it's not just like a two or three pull, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you want a big hit, a good hit, you know, there's that. Um, and their carts, they're really good. They usually sell about half gram, about 60, I believe. Just put the camera. <laughs> and you go like this and like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and these were the Air Pro? Air, Air Pro, Pro. Yeah. And then we have some King Pen. And then we have the King Pen. Yeah, it's everyone's favorite, you know. It's a good go-to. It has really good tasting terps with it. Um, and they're just pretty even priced as well. It's a really good go-to, for sure. Awesome. Thank you, Selena. And we're going to uh, wrap this up with our favorite category, which is flowers. And, you know, what I'd like to share with the audience is I feel that many consumers are disconnected when it comes to the flower, especially if you're just taking dabs or vaping. And nothing would be here without some quality flower for... Um, to be the, the source material. Um, and so I'm eager to know um, why you chose these jars for the show. Ooh, okay, so I am a heavy indica person. I like stuff that um, kind of helps me mellow out and kind of chill out. I'm usually pretty high strung. Um, so this GMO, ever since the first time I've tried it, I've always had positive, amazing results. It's always mellowed me out or knocked me out mm -hmm. for sleep, you know, and it was awesome for that. Um, so GMO is just like one of my favorites. And you started your day off with a GMO today? And I started my day off with a GMO, yeah. Um, a little blunt, it was nice. <laughs> Sweet. I did some garden work this morning, so I was like toking it a little bit, you know, in the garden. Which one is the GMO? This one right here. And wow. that's garlic, mushroom, onion. Garlic, mushroom, onion. Profile, okay. yeah. I, we were, I was wondering what that is. Garlic, mushroom, onion. Very cool. Look at this jar. This jar is bad. Sweet. The GMO's in there. Um, you, you mind cracking the jar? Yeah. And this one is a display one, so we can open it up and let people smell it. And mm -hmm. It's not sold or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to smell it real fast. Wow, cuts right up your nostrils. Yeah, Has yeah. some fuel. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe the smell, Selena? Oh. Definitely that like pungent, onion, fuely, very gassy, just like in your face. Like, oh, that's the smell that you want. At least me, heavy, like that's the smell that I want. The yeah. gassy, heavy. And this is her natural reaction. You know, it's real passion for the plant, real passion for cannabis. And that's what we're here is to preserve real California cannabis culture right here in the Emerald Triangle. You know, thank you, Selena, for the energy that you're bringing to the show right now. Thank you, yeah. It's pretty exciting. I get to share my opinion and not just because I'm selling it, you know, like I get to actually say what I want to say on it, how I feel about it, you know. Like, here, smell this. I know you'll like it. <laughs> what's next? Mm, what's next? So another one of our top sellers and also one of my favorites is Mac. The Mac. Yeah. So it's Miracle Alien Afghani cookies. It's awesome. And that one's another one that's really good, like sedative and puts me out for bedtime. That has a more floral smell. It does, yes. Mm -hmm. I smell sweet, not like citrusy sweet, but maybe berry sweet. It's like a purpley sweet in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, we've been enjoying the Mac in the Bay Area. Um, it's a top in genetics, helps cultivators look real good, mm -hmm. super frosty. Um, can you share something about with the audience about when you, when you smoke the Mac, um, what kind of experience you have? Um, when I smoke the Mac, it's more... It's sedative for sure, but not as heavy as the GMO. It's more like a bubbly, like comfortable sedative 
or I shouldn't even say sedative, more like relaxation in a way, you know? Like, it's not so much as like, oh, I'm stoned, I need to pass out. It's more like, oh, I'm stoned, I feel relaxed, I can have fun, and then I get ready for bed type of thing. But the GMO is? Knock me out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what I like about the GMO personally. Yeah. Um, and it's really nice to help, like, with me, like I said, in the garden. Because I'll take a couple puffs and I won't get too stoned. But, like, it'll help with, like, if I'm dealing with the sun or the back or if I'm lifting stuff, you know. It helps release a little bit of that tension. Hell, yeah. Definitely. She, the plant definitely pacifies me. Yeah. And I'm eager to know the last jar that you have for us. So the last jar that we have is a Jack. Jack Herrera, yeah. So this one is very, very smelly. It's nice and pungent. It's um, It's got that like sweet, earthy, almost citrusy, you know, smell. Jack hair smell right on point. Looks great. The camera can catch a little bit of the detail. And it's a perfect sativa for people who love sativas and being more active. It's um, really on point. It's not too wiry or anything like that, but it's pretty on point for the sativas. Have you sampled the Jack? Yes. Yeah. And can you share with the audience? Can you share with the audience how you feel after you smoke it? Um, sativas are a little bit weird for me. Sometimes if I smoke too much of them, I get a little bit paranoid. But I did oh, really? sample this one, and it uh, it was. A little active for sure for me. Like I definitely got active. What do you mean, like you started? Like I just. Playing in the garden. Yep, exactly. I smoked it in the morning with um, my cousin, and we started watering. Did a little bit of workouts. Walked around the property a little bit. Played with the dogs. It was nice. Sweet. I want to share that I'm totally sold on these two jars, so I want to pick them up. And I want to say thank you for um, giving us your time right now to share about the top selling products at One Log. And I'd love to get Skylar over here on camera real fast. Skylar is the other half of this dynamic duo here at One Log. These are your go-to bud tenders. Uh, Skylar, real quick, can you please share with the audience uh, what you love best about working here at One Log? Oh, I, I love the, everybody here. The people here are awesome. Everybody's cool. Um, it's really easy to figure out what all the products are doing. Um, I love sampling all the products, obviously. It's one of the best parts. Um, the managers and the bosses are amazing. Everybody works well with each other. Nobody's got any problems. And that's probably the best thing about working here is everybody's awesome. Everybody's really nice. Everybody's really cool. Um, we don't really get bad products. So everything's all, all good all the time. Thank you, Skylar. The last question, and we'll wrap it up. What do you want people to know about Humboldt County? Uh, just generally, it's gorgeous. It's one of the best places I can be. I've had people tell me it's nicer than the Grand Canyon. The Avenue of the Giants is always a must-see. A must There's drive through trees that you can drive your car through. There's trees that are 2,000 years old that you have to check out. It's just one of the most beautiful places in the world, and almost everybody here is, again, just awesome. Thank you, Skylar. Absolutely. And Selena, just real quick, what do you want people to know about Humboldt County? Um, honestly, it's one of my favorite places to escape, like a good vacation. Like a lot of people want to escape for a vacation and go to the Bahamas, but still stay stuck on their phone. Whereas here, there's no service. You can't be stuck on your phone. You have to enjoy the nature. You have yeah. to be out here and enjoy everything. So that's, uh, yeah. If you really want to like have a good adventure and good, you know, vacation and escape, Humboldt's the way to go. Thank you so much for that. And she's absolutely right. I was trying to post her on my Instagram right now before the interview, before this little gig right now. And there's no reception. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So as much as I'm bummed out, you're absolutely right. We do have to disconnect. We're so like attached to our damn phones. Yeah. I deal with that a lot too, you know, doing the social media, like promoting all this stuff. And you don't realize like how detached you are from the whole world and from, you know, the beautiful area that we're in. We always say it's oh so beautiful. Oh, we appreciate it. But through our phones. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm going to say thank you, Skylar, Selena. We're going to pick up these jars and we're going to unbox them in a quick minute. Thank you. Mm -hmm.